All right, so we're back with the only game that allows us to peer into the future of human evolution. It's Species. Species had a bunch of updates in the experimental branch, which apparently increases its stability. And that will allow me to do something I've wanted to do for a while, but I didn't really want to because it takes hours and hours. And if the game crashed, I would hang myself with my own mouse, which is I want to allow the game to just evolve for 250 generations i don't know exactly how many years that is it's like 50,000 or something new world damn it so i'm gonna leave everything like it is all this is gonna stay the same we're gonna have our regular pickle potato ultra guy over there little sad testicle with a middle finger sticking out of it he's gonna be the main star of the show but i am gonna have a couple of humans in there just to see if they kind of change or anything happens to them i'll probably go a hundred generations at first and then we'll see how things change and then from there we'll go like 50 and then like 25 25 25 or something to see how things go so wish me luck and i don't know let's pray to jesus this doesn't take too long welcome everyone to a land of blue skies and green grass where horrible creatures that we will somewhat consider to be human beings will continue to evolve as well as the you know the pickle mutants behold the very first fetal human somewhat human at least it was born with arms and legs this time you guys know like every time we try and make a human they look see that you see this 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 creature right here is just a disgrace to its family it let me down it let the team down it let all the goddamn gods of mount olympus down and quite frankly i'm not going to tolerate it any longer okay i've left the pinnacle of human evolution over here on this island so they can be all alone this way we can watch the humans compared to whatever you want to call these things. Actually, I'm going to move all these guys out of here, too. I'm going to move them all over here. This way, none of them are over by the humans. These ones, too. Y'all got to friggin' go. Get your ass out of here. You're going over here now. Okay, we have reached our first grouping of Generation 100 Freaks in Nature. Uh, we're going to do a little runway modeling here to kind of show you where we've gotten. You'll notice some of them enjoy swimming. Look, as its <laughs> floppy weenus kind of undulates behind it as the, its means of propulsion. That's somewhat horrifying. I guess it's also horrifying that its thing there is kind of this meat which in and of itself sounds really bad uh so for the most part all the creatures have changed like grievously these are like very very alien seal pickles at this point i never thought that i would ever get the opportunity to cross a vegetable with something as adorable as a seal and you're gonna see quite a few of them have this little flagella or whatever you want to call it over here let's take a look at all the different creatures mm. You be oh, we got to a hun generation 103 in a few of these. You beautiful being. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this thing only got to 93 generations so far. But what a friggin' potato head this thing has. Okay, it's rear legs. I think that's what this is, or kind of accordioning. But it has the human head. So somehow the human has crossed with a mostly crippled poodle. Okay, the poodle is just getting more crippled at this point. Now it's an atrophied rear leg poodle with eyes. I don't know if I if I ever want to see this thing again. It's somewhat nightmarish. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a green Barney. Instead of being paraplegic, he just got his entire lower torso severed. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oh my God. So this is where we're at, at right around 100 generations. A couple of them are over in like the 70 generations. So this over here was human island. This is where only the humans were. And this is what they have become. They're camouflaged now. They're also herbivores now, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, they have gotten colorful as hell. And they also look like something out of Hellraiser. Now, right over here, this is some of the untainted beasts, the crappy potato original thing. And even they have sprouted legs at this point. They have six legs. They just have like a tiny derby hat on their head made for an infant. So the humans have kept their lungs for the most part. They've turned into herbivores though, again, which is a little strange. Their pregnancy time is also way slower. So that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> 
I still like the fact that adorable is one of the ways to describe this thing. Okay, let's do another hundred generations. Okay, we're at about 175 out of 250 at this point. 16,800 years or so have passed, and it has not been good to the creatures. I haven't messed with the settings or anything. And this is what we've come up with so far. This is this is the original pickle beast right here. This is what it would turn into. It looks like the predator, but on like black tar heroin. So we're at 13 species now. This thing's friggin' taste in the rainbow. Skittles vomited all over this creature. I don't think I've ever made anything that neon. Uh, we've seen that thing oh man look at look at this urban camouflage right here blending in with its bubblegum wriggly spearmint green surroundings fairly hideous is that an eye inside of its mandible that looks like an eye inside of its mandible which is just extra nightmare i'm so glad that genetics decide to be something out of freaking nightmare on elm street this is probably the simplest creature that there is this this one right will you stop wagging your thing at me this is like sexual harassment going on. Uh-huh. Okay, this one doesn't have any legs. Uh, this one does have legs, but I wish it didn't. This thing has one nub. It's like its groin is giving us the middle finger. Its name is Hackum. Okay, we're getting real colorful. I find it interesting that our humans, there's, there's like... There's no humans anymore. The humanoid structure is completely gone at this point. So what we're going to do now that we're coming into the home stretch, we're going to look every 25 generations to... S Apparently, I didn't go far enough to see what we come up with. Oh, no. It's like leg day, but it only did calf raises. All right, we're at generation 200. What the hell did I come back to? It looks like a bulldog mixed with a dildo. I don't really think that things are getting better. I don't know if evolution is creating a superior being because this looks absolutely awful. Hold on, let's um, let's go over to uh, the human island and see what... I ho oh, God, I hope I'm not already on the human island. So this is over in the human area. This is where the humans have, have gotten to. They're now co like almost complete herbivores. What the hell is that? That is not, this is not what a human looked like. Over here, we have uh, what happens when the hunchback of Notre Dame has sex with a dolphin. Got like two extra eyeballs inside of the bottom mandible. Uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. This smooth, I, I feel like this one hasn't changed. Like this one looks very similar to what we've had way back in the day. Just a really smooth kind of baby armish thing. Okay, this looks like it was a creature that had coffee spilled all over its arms and stubs. I think this is the beginning of fins maybe I, I don't know if this thing's trying to swim or what hold on we need to find out where this is oh here it is all the way over on the original island yeah it's got the little tail it's cute in kind of a irradiated cockroach sort of way i guess those are not fins those must just be it's really tiny kneecaps i feel like we've seen this before only in a fatter increment and that is the dildo bulldog Oddly, this is totally an omnivore, right in the middle. Eats meat and vegetables. Okay, well, we're almost done. We're gonna take a look now at 225 and then 250, and I actually need to check the save file to find out exactly how many years have passed because it doesn't always seem to save the amount of years, but it keeps it in the save file. Onward. All right, we're at 225 generations, and we're down to three species. The few that are left have somehow gotten very humanoid appearances, but it's got two legs, sort of, two arms, a head, a freakish body that kind of looks like a, like a Wicked Witch of the West's finger. 
pointing crookedly at you. So this is what we're left with right now. They have gone full lungs, this one over here. Full herbivore, full lungs. And then the humpback critter is still here. I don't know how, but it's still around and it's an omnivore. Somehow the age has completely blown the game. The, uh, the game's not even working for this thing's age anymore. It's somewhere between infinite and 2000 years old. We're gonna go with infinite because it sounds cooler. And then this is the last being. <laughs> Again, mostly lungs, totally herbivoric and I what is left of the humanoid race? There's almost nothing left. Now we've all turned into radishes with Slim Jims for legs and one testicle for a head. You can see them everywhere. The coloration's different here and there. This is like the big papa. See, it's got the full legs. It, it could be a dinosaur, except it's the kind of dinosaur that you, you know, you pay all this money to go to Jurassic Park and then you finally see a dinosaur and you're immediately hit with regret and disappointment. That's the dinosaur that you would see. This one doesn't even get rear legs. It just has to have really, really really strong forearms. So we've got 25 generations left. Will the human race crop back up? Probably not. It's worth a shot to see if our genes are potent enough to appear in all this crap, this soup of genetic sludge. Two hundred and fifty freaking generations. Again, I have to find out exactly how many years this is, but we ended up with more species than we had gone into the 250 with, which is kind of nice because it sort of looked like all the species were getting erased from the planet and there was only going to be but one left, one superior species to rule them all. But now we have a couple of creatures that look like they ended up getting the bottom half of their body thrown into a blender or something. Let's see what the hell we have here. Uh, okay, we've definitely seen this one before. I think that one looks very similar. Okay, that just not look similar. It looks sort of like a platypus, but a naked platypus and a lot uglier instead of somewhat cute. Not really sure what the hell happened there. It's almost like the phallus in the back is getting smaller, which is really unfortunate because that means that as evolution has gone forward for however many tens of thousands of years, the little thing here on the back continues to shrink in size. I don't think this critter was just in the cold water. Ah, that's the coffee, uh, the coffee spill guy. He's still around. He, he went away for a little bit, but now he's back. And then this, I really don't know. I don't really don't know what to call this. It's sort of got antenna, but not really. So as per the simulation, that was 65,605 years, I think it was. It was 65,000 something. So that's what happened to human beings 65,000 years into the future. They kind of stand, but only when submerged in water and their genitals have shrunk to very, very regretful proportions. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. Until the next time, stay foxy, much love.